Voilà, bah oui. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to a very special Surprise Wednesday stream. I don't think we've streamed on a Wednesday in quite some time. Um, I've been reading this book, this book series, really, uh, called Crescent City. And I'm on the third book in the series, and I literally have no thoughts other than Crescent City. The Just Crescent City just absolutely takes over my entire brain every waking moment of my life and it's even in my dreams and you think I'm being dramatic but I promise you I'm not um <laughs> it's literally the only thing I'm thinking about right now it's so good if you haven't read these books I definitely recommend it but you should read A Court of Thorns and Roses first before reading these books speaking of A Court of Thorns and Roses I started downloading custom content in The Sims 4 the other day uh, I've never used custom content before, by the way. This is completely new to me. I had to figure out how to install it. But I got a bunch of custom content that looked like Akatar characters. And so I started thinking, oh, I should make Akatar in Crescent City and Crescent City in The Sims. But I don't think that there's any way I can make any sort of build related to Akatar because they're all very convoluted, probably. Um, but I can probably make Bryce's apartment. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm sorry if you haven't read these books um, and you don't know what I'm talking about. I recommend you read them. But otherwise, uh, it'll probably still be fun to watch. I don't know. We'll see. How is everybody doing today, by the way? Did anybody do anything interesting today? I'm kind of nervous to start this. Oh, also, look at this cute background I got. Got to a part in the book where they retrieved Slughorn's last memory and they viewed it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you're getting close to finishing the book, I think. Okay, I want to start with Bryce, I think. Um, also, you guys, if you don't know what Crescent City is about, imagine like Zootopia but it's got like fairies and werewolves and like angels and stuff like that um i don't really know how else to explain it uh-oh uh-oh my keyboard's not working why isn't my keyboard working Oh my goodness. Hold on, you guys. 
Let me see if I can fix my keyboard. Is it working over here? It is working over here, so it's just in the game that it's not working. I bet that my custom content has broken it. But let's try one more time. <laughs> How is my background like that? It's custom content. Hello, mom. How are you? Your mom said I could. Everybody go follow your mom said I could if you are not already. I don't have shout outs set up. My apologies. I don't know how to do them. <laughs> I'm really good at this whole streaming thing. Um, custom content in The Sims 4 is basically... I was trying to explain this to Jake earlier. It's like fan fiction, but in video game form. So like this right here under mods, this is all of the mods that I have right now. Most of this is custom content. It's just stuff that fans of this game have created and like figured out how to write into the game and you can download it. Hopefully my keyboard works. It's not that many, okay? Each one of those is only like one item. Like it could be like a shirt or something. Oh good, okay. My nose itches. Okay, Bryce Quinlan is the main character of Crescent City. When you got Wicked Whims, oh my gosh, I've never used Wicked Whims. I don't think that I uh, am built for Wicked Whims, honestly. Okay, Bryce is described as having tan skin, but I don't really know like how tan. I don't know. I wish, can I just remove all of this makeup really quick? Okay. Now I, I've looked at fan art, but obviously I don't have like a reference photo because this is like a fictional character, <laughs> but I'm going to try my best. Okay. She's described as being like kind of thick, but like still in shape. Like she's a dancer, but she's told that she can't be like a professional dancer because she's like busty and thick, you know? So, I mean, we're going to try to like make her look like that. And she does have red hair like this, but it's more like a dark red. That might be too much, though. And I don't really know, like, what kind of hairstyle I would picture with her. I do think that she has long hair. I wish that some of you guys had read the book so you could tell me how you pictured her. And we could, like, meet in the middle. Let's see. Probably like a curly hairstyle would be what I would think. Something like that. Working on 10 things at once. That's never good. Is it at least like fun things? See, I think that some of these would be like perfect, except that they have different colors in them. Like this one would be really good, but it's got purple in it and she doesn't have purple hair. This one's pretty good, I think. Mm. I Every time I play this game and make a sim, I see this hairstyle and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. And then I never use it. And today is still not the day. Okay, I think... The one that was like kind of curly that we had down here. I, th I think I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to keep this hair color for now. Because it would... It's described as like wine red. Which we don't really have. I could have downloaded that color, I guess. But I didn't. So I guess this one's good. Let's see, her nose, I'm a match. She's described as very like, 
like typically pretty like society's standard of pretty is kind of what she is so i'm gonna just make her look like pretty basic i guess i don't know man i also have no idea like what color her skin tone is because like she has red hair naturally so you would think that she'd be pale but she is described as having tan skin mm. oh that one's kind of good I feel like that one, she's, she still looks tan, but it doesn't look, like, unnatural for her to have that red of hair, you know? I don't know, man. Her teeth, I imagine her teeth are, like, pretty regular. I don't know. Um, I don't know what color her eyes are. Now that I think about it, I have no idea. Ooh, actually, I think I got some, yeah, some custom eyes. These are my custom, see how they're like different from all the other ones? Those are the custom content ones. Those are like the modded ones. Um, I think this one, and I'm going to give her, we do brown or green. I honestly don't know what color her eyes are. We'll do like this middle or shade. Middle or that's totally a word. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> her lips, they do, they do describe her lips as full. But how full is too? I think that's good right there. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I, I'm a fan of that. How do we feel about that? What about makeup? I don't think that she'd have any of these like ridiculous uh, Mac makeup looks like this one right here. I don't think that that's correct, but I do quite like this eyeliner. I use this eyeliner every time I play the game, but I'm definitely going to use it again. And then I think that maybe like a natural lip color would be good as well for like an everyday look I think that that's quite pretty what do you guys think oh I got these ridiculous uh mask things for when I do a court of thorns and roses because some of the characters have masks in that game in that uh that uh book couldn't think of the word for book for a second. That's a little embarrassing. Okay, let's try to pick an outfit. I think that that'll really pull it all together. Um, she works at Griffin Antiquities, which is like a gallery that buys and sells very old artifacts and a lot of like Things that are probably a little bit illegal, but nobody questions them, you know, like that kind of stuff. Um, and Hunt describes her as wearing like skin tight dress with like heels sometimes. So that's what I'm going to go for, I think, for like an everyday look. But I don't know if we'll have anything like that in The Sims. That's like exactly what I'm picturing. I thought I downloaded some custom content dresses. I got this one, but that's more formal. Oh, maybe this one. I do this one. But what color though? Uh, that's a little short, actually. I think this one. Ooh. Is that a Louis Vuitton pattern? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry, this is my first time using custom content, and I'm very amused by it. Oh my gosh, cheetah print? 
make her a little bit more evenly proportioned here. Yeah, something like that. Okay, let's get some like heels going here and then we'll see if we like the dress or not. Oh, you said you like her? Good, I'm glad. I'm not sure how I feel yet, honestly. I don't like those shoes. Oh wait, why do those like weirdly match? Do you see that? No. Oh, I don't like those. Don't like those. Those are cute, but I don't think that that's like correct for this. Definitely not that. I think this one. Emma, hello, how are you? Welcome in, I'm doing great. Have you ever read Crescent City? Okay, body scars. She does have a scar on her thigh in the first book. Um, so I think I'm gonna put that in. This is a werewolf scar though, and her scar was just one line, it wasn't two, but I think that it's like a nice touch. And then she also has a scar on her chest, which I think oh. I downloaded custom content that matches it, but I got to try to find it. Oh, yeah, she has a, ta a tattoo on her back, too. Got to find my custom content, though. Ooh. I have no idea what this one is under. She has a tattoo of a star, an eight pointed star on the front of her chest. Ooh, what is that? Is that like dirt on her hand? That's a weird tattoo. Oh, I've never seen this one. That's kind of neat. Okay, I'm not seeing the star right now. I really hope that we find it, though. And then she also has a tattoo down her back that says, um, through love, all is possible. Oh, there it is. See, look. Oh, gosh. Right there. You can kind of see it. This custom content is yellow instead of white, but she's got that tattoo on her chest. Um, oh gosh. There we go, sorry. And then I feel like Bryce would definitely wear like accessories like jewelry oh yeah and she has elf ears i almost forgot look at this cute custom content i got for these elf ears she's a fae she's half fae oh my gosh i completely forgot about that that's so cute are these the same ears or different i can't tell what is that? <laughs> I got a couple different elf ear versions. But I think I'm just going to stick with these because they poke out past her hair. Oh, she would definitely have her nails done too. Like for sure. That might be a little long though. There, let's do that one. And then... 
Do we want to give her a bracelet? I feel like we should, right? That one's just like a barbed wire thing, though. I don't love that. That one's kind of cute, but I think it's only cute because you can't really see what that is. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Um, let's do a necklace, maybe. And maybe some earrings as well. Can't really see her ears, but uh oh, did our uh our ears disappear? Our elf ear. Okay. There we go. Yeah, you can't even see the earrings, but that's okay. I'll I'll know that they're there. <laughs> and then you can see her back tattoo as well. I couldn't find one that actually matches her tattoo that she has. I always pictured her with a nose ring as well. I don't know why. The book never says that she has a nose ring. I think in my brain she just has a nose ring, though, because she's like a badass. And I assume that all badasses have nose rings. <laughs> I don't know. I, I have no explanation for myself. Okay, for formal, I think... Well, first of all, let's remove this hat. I hate when the game puts hats on the Sims in like formal or cold weather wear or whatever, you know, like, and that because then I have to like click on their face and delete it. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. What is? Oh, I forgot I downloaded this. Okay. Oh, I forgot I downloaded this too. Oh, that's actually better. I think. Maybe. Let me see. Let me see if we like that one better. I kind of like that one better. That's more like every day though, isn't it? You always have to set the kids clothes when you have them. They're never dressed appropriately. They aren't, you're right. I have that same issue. I think that this is pretty good. I need to change her the color of her shoes at least, though. Well, I mean, that kind of still matches. <laughs> and those are the best shoes, for sure. As far as heels go in this game. Most of the heels are kind of not great. You just found out Albert... Albert Einstein, his brain was stolen. It was in a, his brain was in a closet for 45 years. What? What the heck? I don't know. How do we feel about this? I think that this is quite pretty for every day. I think that we should also add a second everyday outfit, though, that's like what she would wear when she's not working. Oh, these dresses are so pretty. Sorry. Easily distracted. For when she's not working, let's go with like some jeans, I think. The doctor that was supposed to do his cremation stole it and kept it in formaldehyde. What the heck? What up, baby? Haunted Pagan, hello. The Sims has some weird looking jeans. Have you guys noticed that? You joined at a great time. You're right, you did. I feel like, ew, I've never seen those jeans before. Oh, those are kind of pretty. 
Got like some tactical jeans here. Looking great. Okay, well, I like this one that's got the belt and the holes. So are we cremating and stealing? Um, so the, the doctor that was supposed to cremate Albert Einstein, apparently, according to Lindsay, left his brain in formaldehyde and it was in a closet for 45 years and then somebody stole it. Apparently, I don't. That's crazy. I feel like none of these jeans are like correct for me. For what I'm picturing. Maybe these. Those are pretty good. Definitely not those. And then let's go for like... I don't know what kind of top she'd wear. Oh, a leather jacket would be good, actually. Because she does wear a leather jacket in the books that says, Through Love All Is Possible on the back. She wears it because it was Danica's jacket. Huh. I don't know, though. Maybe that. Maybe that. You're doing a role play sim creation. So I'm making um, the characters from Crescent City, which is a book series that I'm reading right now. And then I'm going to attempt to make um, Bryce's apartment as well. Bryce is the main character in the books. I'm going to attempt to make her apartment as well if I can figure out how to do that. <laughs> going to join for Deceit tomorrow night? Possibly. Maybe. Um, I have a thing that I have to go to. I don't know what time it ends. The uh, flyer thing didn't tell me. Okay, for formal, let's just pick something, I guess. I don't really know. There's not a lot of formal occasions in these books. That's pretty. Ooh, that's really pretty. I always forget about like 90% of the clothes in this game. I don't know why. <laughs> I just use like the same five outfits over and over again and then I complain about how we don't have enough outfits. I'm running a new game tonight if it finishes. What, um, what game are you going to play tonight? I feel like I want to use one of the custom ones that I downloaded. I got this one for um, A Court of Thorns and Roses, but it's very pretty. I might use it for this as well. Ooh. We do this, maybe? I don't know. Oh, this one's good. I forgot that I had this one. Ew, not that pattern, though. <laughs> oh, that's a really pretty dress. Okay. Might have to go with that one. And then maybe, like... We can give her a different hairstyle for formal. 
Like a fancy updo or something. I don't know. Probably not that. Ooh, that's a pretty hairstyle. I didn't know we had that. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, yeah. And then we got to give her her elf ears. Cute. Look at how pretty she looks. Can I add a necklace with the ears or will it remove it? Oh, I can add one. Okay, sick. Oh, that's so pretty. Look. Sporty. Um, I really, I don't want to pick all of the outfits. I kind of was more concerned about like her everyday outfit. <laughs> Oh, shaved sides. I didn't know we had that out, that hair either. Do this, and then um, need like some kind of. Oh, I guess it is important to have the athletic wear because there is a pretty important scene in the books that involves the gym so mm. I don't know let me see what we can find for the bottoms I feel like she'd just wear like leggings. She wears leggings in the books. You guys that have never read these books and don't know what I'm talking about are probably so annoyed slash confused <laughs> by my uh my lack of context. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good, I guess. Huh. Yeah, let's go with that. That's fine. All little footy pajamas. Um, oh, I accidentally removed her nails. No, that is not what we had. We had this, I think. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the hat too. Stop. <laughs> Gotta do her... Um, her ears. Oh my gosh, where was it? Was it under accessories, maybe? How did I lose it? Her her fey ears. Oh, it's because I have it under sleep. I think. Mm-hmm. I like to mock the sounds that they make sometimes because why do they make those sounds? <laughs> Ew, my back just popped so bad. Oh my gosh, I'm in pain. <laughs> Ow. Where are my elf ears? There they are. Okay, cool. Um, Tops probably just a big t-shirt is what she is described as wearing in the books. Um, 
I think there's one from the werewolf pack that would be good. It's like an oversized t-shirt. I can't remember though. Hello, my friend Andrew. How are you? How's it going? Ooh, that's a cute shirt. Maybe something like this. And then we can give her like some little sleep shorts or something. Maybe. I don't know. I think this is fine. Going good so far. What is Crescent City? I'm so glad you asked, Andrew. Uh, Crescent City is a book. It's kind of like Zootopia. Uh, but imagine instead of animals, it's like fairies and werewolves and like mythical creatures. <laughs> it's really a fun time. <laughs> And it's, it's a book series by Sarah J. Mass, which is the same author that wrote A Court of Thorns and Roses, which if you haven't heard of that, it's like huge right now. Her party dress, let's wear this one because we changed it before. Or this, actually this one, I think. And then we need the shoes, too. Mm, heels. All of these heels are just not very good, honestly. Do those. And then maybe like a necklace. Oh, we need to do her ears too. We could give her a different hairstyle for a party. Maybe she like wears a braid to a party. I don't know. Is that the same hairstyle? Or is it different? I actually can't tell. Definitely not that, though. I'll tell you that much. Oh, maybe she wears two braids to a party. Where's that one hairstyle that's like the two little space buns that's what I want not the not that one. Oh, what's this that's definitely not what I want where is you guys know which one I'm talking about the one that's like half up half down and is like space this one oh. that one I think is cute okay let's give her let's give her a necklace maybe Um, maybe something like that. I think that's cute. Her swimwear. I don't think that there is any swimming in this book whatsoever. So I'm just going to pick one. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Her hot weather. I, there is a scene in this book where it's described as being really hot outside and she wears like shorts, like jean shorts, I think. And then like a tank top. 
I don't want to just give her like a plain tank top though. Ew, I don't like the belt on those jean shorts either. Change that. <laughs> These are my favorite ones, like aesthetically, but I think that they're a little bit too long. These ones are too short. So I need like a, a happy medium. These shorts are cute, but they're not what I'm going for. Same with those. Oh, these ones. Oh my gosh, I forgot about these shorts. These shorts are so good. Perfect. Okay, and then the top. Maybe something like this. How do we feel about this? I don't know. I mean, it's not like probably the most accurate, but whatever. Oh, we could use this top. This one that I didn't know existed until like, ooh, cute. Yeah, we could use this top that I didn't know existed until like five minutes ago. You hate the shoes? Oh, same. Don't worry, we're going to fix them. <laughs> I hate a lot of the shoes in this game, though. My biggest gripe with this game as a whole is probably how bad the shoes are. I mean, those are probably like the best we're going to get. And then maybe we can like put our hair up or something since it's hot. She can wear this. This one is a really cute hairstyle. Cute. I do think that we need to make her a little bit thicker, though. You know, like, I feel like she's supposed to be, like, oh. thick. We can add a bit of muscle and a bit of fat. Not too much. I don't want to make her like... She is still very in shape, you know? I feel like that's good. I think that's really good. I'm going to stop messing with her. I think that looks great. Okay, cold weather. I wish I would have downloaded custom content of a leather jacket. But guess what? I didn't. So I don't know. Oh, that's cute. Why have I never seen? Ignore the pants. The pants are bad. Why have I never seen that before? That looks so cozy. Look at the texture on that. Wow. I feel like something like this would be good. With jeans. Oh, where did those one jeans go that I liked earlier? The ones that had the black belt. Oh, no, just kidding. These are the these are the ones. Yeah, that's really cute. And then I don't know what kind of shoes. Probably just Converse again. I don't ever know, like, what to make my Sims wear for their feet. <laughs> I always just put them in Converse or or these ones or combat boots. It's like those are, like, my only options. <laughs> oh, maybe she wears, like, a beanie or something. 
Oh, guys, we can't forget her elf ears. Don't let me forget. Oh gosh, where are they? I keep losing them. Are they, I think they're under like bracelets or something actually. Uncheck cold weather, uncheck feminine. Where are my ears? Oh, there they are. Sick. I wonder if I put like a beanie over the ears, if the ears would disappear. Or if they'd still be there. I actually don't even know if there's any cute beanies in this game. Like that's dorky. <laughs> That one's not too bad, but it doesn't really like match the color of her jacket. That's kind of cute. How about that? How do we feel? I don't think it's bad, but I also don't think it's good. Is this one better or worse? I think this one makes her forehead look weird. Does this one have any cute colors? I mean, that one's not bad. It doesn't exactly match, but... That one's kind of cute, but I don't like the button thing that's going on with it. This looks like it's like a cupcake on top of her head. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Okay, no hat. Maybe different hair, though. I wonder if any of these hairs have like a, a cute hat that's like built into them. You know what I mean? Like, some of them have headbands. I don't think any of them have cute hats. This headband is cute, though. And it matches pretty good. Let's use this one, I guess. Or there's this one. No, I like the headband. The headband's good. Yeah. Ooh. When did we get that hair? I feel like I'm seeing some of these, these hair items. I feel like I'm seeing some of these items for the first time ever. <laughs> okay, I think maybe a, like a backup. I think maybe a backup cold weather outfit that has a leather jacket, if we can find a leather jacket. I don't believe that there's not a leather jacket somewhere in this game. See, like, some of them, it's, like, almost what I want, but not quite. I should have downloaded custom content. Ooh, is that, when did we get this? Ooh, does this have a swatch where the jacket is black? It does. Okay. Yeah, for sure. And then I want her hair for this one to be this. 
And then the jeans will change those two. Because I really want everything to match. Actually, let's maybe do leggings. Or like skinny jeans. Mm. Probably that. And then... I don't know. Something like this, probably. What should we make her aspiration be? Knowledge, probably. None of these are like exactly correct, of course. I almost want to do spellcraft and sorcery, even though that's kind of silly. But the sim craves a deep knowledge of the arcane magical arts. It's basically the whole plot of the series. <laughs> and we'll make her... A foodie. Loyal. And I almost wanted to say party animal, but that's not really true. Like everybody thinks she's like a like a party girl or whatever, but she's not actually. Hmm. I might just make her ambitious. I don't know. Maybe self-assured. I'm just going to go with ambitious, I think. Okay, next. We're going to try to make... Hunt, I think. Hunt Athelar is her mate. I did download custom content for him as well. I got some wings. But I don't know if I'll be able to find them, to be honest. I'm going to try to find them. Oh, that is not it. Ignore that. <laughs> That's just a thing I was doing. Um... I got this like sparkle thing because I was like, oh, we can make uh, Twilight characters. <laughs> but if I were wings, where would I be? That's the true question. I've seen them under bracelets before. Oh, look, I also got these like swords. For when we do Akatar. <laughs> and on the left side, too. What about gloves? No. Rings? No. He does not have elf ears. We're going to have to change that. Not fingernails. Leggings? No. Socks? No. Okay. Maybe it's under like skin details. No. Uh -huh. No. I hope I can find it. I guess I could try to look up where they are, but that might take a while. 
And I don't want to subject you all to that. I got face tattoos too. <laughs> Hmm. Where the heck is it? I know it's downloaded. I thought I found it earlier, but I don't remember where it is now. I wonder, is there a way for me to search just by custom content? Yeah, there is. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, let's look under... I really don't know. <laughs> this isn't going as well as I had hoped. Huh. It'll be fine, you guys. Don't worry. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. You're the best around. Robin Caps, thank you for the biddies. Thank you for the lurk as well. If I were wings, where would I be? Well. Oh, maybe it's under like accessories i don't think it is though right did we already look here whoa i am surprised daily by things that are in this game that i just never noticed huh. on my back yes <laughs> well there's this thing but i was gonna use that for akatar <laughs> Maybe it's a vest or a swimsuit. What about if I sort by just custom content here? Oh yeah, I got these for when we do Akatar as well. Aren't they cool? Man, we might not be able to find the wings. That's so upsetting. Okay, well, let's just start with everything else for now. Let's start with his face. I think that he is also described as being tan. I don't want to make him like the exact same skin tone as Bryce, though, and I forget what color I made her. <laughs> I guess let's just do this. Um, ooh, there is this tattoo. I have to be careful what hair I give him because there's a tattoo that he has that's like in his hairline and I downloaded custom content for it. But if I pick the wrong hair, it'll cover it and I don't want to cover it. But he has a barbed wire tattoo across his brow because um he is a uh -huh. slave to the Asteri which doesn't make sense to anybody who hasn't read the book but basically it means that he's being held prisoner for his whole life and um fun fact the barbed wire face tattoo 
is supposed to signify life imprisonment. According to Google. In the first book, Hunt is described to have like pretty long hair, but then in the second one, he cuts it. So I don't know which one to use. I'll probably just pick whichever one looks good with the tattoo, honestly. That one's a little poofy. I like the length and the texture and everything, but it's it's too poofy, I think. That one's pretty good. You can like kind of see the tattoo. That one's too low. That one's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, I'm torn between this one and this like curlier one. I think the slightly curlier one is better. I don't think I like the medium, the medium length ones. That's just not what I pictured. Hello. Hello. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, I don't think that any of these are correct, honestly. This one might be. That's pretty good. How do I get rid of the elf ears? Is that, um, is that like my elf ears or is that just, did he just randomly come with elf ears? Can I edit his ears? Is that even a thing I can do? Oh, what's this? Oh, <laughs> that's the sparkles again. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Um, I don't think that he has, he has scars, but they're not on his face. This. Oh. Interesting. Is does that just make his face dirty or is those freckles? I can't tell. Let's see. I feel like I want to change his eyes to these custom content ones. As oh, the custom content ones are for females only. Dang. Oh, that's not fair. I'm not very good at making male sims. So sorry if this doesn't go well. <laughs> I feel like he would look kind of like brooding. Like that's that's kind of no. What color eyes does Hunt have? Probably brown. That feels pretty good. In his mouth. I honestly have no idea. You're not you're not good at making male sims either. I don't think I think I hear that a lot that a lot of people are not good at it. It's so much harder than making the female sims. I don't know. I'm just going to leave his lips alone. I feel like for his nose is fine, but his face should be like a little bit more like angular. I don't know how to do that though. I mean, that's like pretty good now the way it is. I don't know, man. Oh, definitely not that. <laughs> um... 
Uh, I'm not good at eyebrows either. You guys, what if I made his eyebrows like this and then I just didn't address it? <laughs> like, I just left these on there the whole time. Didn't say a word. Oh, those are good. Those are good. Those are good. Those are the best ones for sure. If he would stop making that face so I can see what... The oh, I don't know. They've got a weird pokey part. They were better when he was making the weird face. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Uh, facial hair. I feel like he needs a little stubble. He's not described as having facial hair in the books. But... I, I feel like he does have facial hair. That might just be like a personal preference thing, but like... I'm going to I'm going to go with yes. Just like a little bit. Just a tiny bit. It'll be fine. And then for every day, he's got like Oh, also he needs to be like ripped. Like <laughs> he needs to be so strong. For sure. For every day, he wears like what what is described as a battle suit to work because he works for um, he's basically a cop, <laughs> but like a cool cop. He's not like like when I say I'd never date a cop, I don't mean I don't mean him, you know. Um, so I've got like this thing, which is pretty good. I wish I could find those wings. I kind of want to Google, Google them and see where they are, but I don't know the odds of me actually finding them again. I don't know. Oh, and then his hair, I, I pictured it as black, but I think it's actually like dark brown. I don't know. I think he looks pretty good right now. Oh, and then he has another tattoo on his arm that is a number. And that's another mark of him being owned by the Asteri. I don't know if I'm saying Asteri right either, you guys. We don't have like a... A number tattoo I could use but there's this one that's kind of similar like I would think that that's probably numbers and like simlish or whatever uh -huh. we could probably give him like a couple of scars somewhere maybe I could I, I could see him having scars I don't know maybe not Oh, did that remove his other... Yeah, that removed his other tattoo. The brow tattoo is way more important to me. I spent so long looking for custom content for that brow tattoo, you guys. It's actually so insane. The only way that I found it as well, I got this custom content of Post Malone's tattoos. And you can, like, remove some of them. So you can, like, pick and choose which ones you want. And there's one that's just the barbed wire. <laughs> so that's what we're going with. I wonder if I use one of these like down here. Because what? It thinks that the Post Malone one is... The left arm. So if I use one of these on his... Right arm. Yeah, see, look, it cupped the barbed wire, but he's still got this right here. It's not in the right place, but I think it's as close as we're going to get. He looks like that one brother from Supernatural. <laughs> oh, my gosh, he kind of does. I got to figure out how to get rid of these ears, too. I don't know what's going on with that. 
How do I get rid of the ears? Why does he have fairy ears? I didn't give him fairy ears. Hold on, you guys. I'm actually going to Google how to change my Sims ears. <laughs> how to change Sims ears. That is not about Sims. That's about real people. I don't need to know how to change my ears. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. I'm just going to click on one. I'm sorry if I'm boring you guys. Oh, that's so complicated. He might just end up with elf ears or we could start over. I don't know. While I'm Googling stuff, I'm also going to Google. Can't find wing custom content in The Sims. Because I really want to have these wings in there. It's very important to me. Maybe I need to turn on cheats. Can I turn on cheats without going into... Oh my gosh, I can. Okay. Okay, now maybe... I still don't know where it would be, though. Probably under, like, accessories. I search just by custom content. These are just swords. <laughs> okay, well, the way that I found this, these wings that I was going to use, I'm going to talk you guys through this while I Google it so that uh, if you guys also play The Sims and want to find these things, I'm going to tell you how to do it. So I was on Reddit. And chipmunk face 97 had the star that I used on Bryce. And so I downloaded that, but then I went to their Tumblr page. Because I was trying to find the wings. Let me see if I can find them and hopefully it will tell me... If it's like under bracelet or something, you know, like it'll tell me like how to get it, like where it is. Mm. I don't know, you guys. I really want him to have wings. It's really, really important to me. It's basically the only thing that's important to me besides the face tattoo. <laughs> It's making me sign into Tumblr now. I hate when websites won't let you like scroll through them without having an account. That's so annoying to me. Like, why is that a thing? Why do I need an account for this? <laughs> I suppose I could also just go download different wings. But the ones that I had were pretty good. I'm only going to look for like a minute and then if I can't find them, I'll give up. I promise. Uh -huh. Is this a problem? Do any of you guys use custom content in The Sims? And if you do, do you have this problem?
This says that having an unofficial version of the game will cause CC to not show up, but I have a, an official ver I have an official version of the game. Oh, I have to make script mods allowed, I think. That makes sense. Uh, gameplay. No, that's not it. Haven't played since a while, so no, you haven't. That's okay. I think I might know what to do. If I enable script mods, script mods may cause your game to crash. Well, that happens already. You need to restart the game for the setting change to take effect. Okay, well, I'm going to apply changes. And then... What I'm going to do... Is I'm going to save this household. I probably should have had this ready before streaming, but you know what? I don't know what you guys expect from me. Ooh, deviance. That's good. Um, Chief of Mischief, Villainous, Seeker of Secrets. Ooh. Maybe love also. So I'm thinking either soulmate or the seeker of secrets. Crystal, hello. How are you? Those are kind of like the, the two themes of the whole series. I think I'm going to do soulmate and his traits. I'm going to make him... This is kind of hard, honestly. He can be active. And... A loner. And we'll say... Hot-headed, maybe? I wouldn't say he's angry, but I would say he has, like, a very short fuse, if you know what I mean. We'll say good for now. And then I'm just going to save these just to my library. And then I'm going to restart the game so that we can enable script mods. That way we can get the wings, because I did not know that you have to do that. Game is in a state. That makes me nervous. I know I literally just saved it. Like, they're right there. I'm going to put them in the gallery just in case so that I know for sure I won't lose them. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to open the game back up and find them again. Because I have to restart the game to enable script mods. Uh, because I didn't play test before streaming. Because I'm so good at this. You're doing dishes and drinking wine. Oh my gosh, wine actually sounds so good. I haven't had wine in so long. I'm drinking a Diet Coke. <laughs> An off-brand Diet Coke. Okay, so I think... We should be able to now just... Can I... Yeah, open the gallery, my library. Where? You guys see why I put them on the gallery? They weren't in my library. Aren't we glad that I did that? There we go. Easy peasy. Now let's see if we can find these wings. These wings are very important to me, you guys. 
I went through so much trouble to find them. And if I can't figure out how to use them, I'm going to be a little sad. Okay, they're not under accessories. I'm starting to get a little worried. I also, he still has elf ears. <laughs> oh, edit detail. Why can't I remove his elf ears? He's not... I didn't even know that there was elf ears in The Sims, to be honest. Ooh. That's not uh, the correct hair, but that's interesting and new for me. Burn him? Um... I don't want to. I like him. I just can't figure out how to get rid of his ears. <laughs> and I can't figure out where his wings are. Oh, I'm going to be so sad if I can't use the wings. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to try to find it again. Don't be upset with me for Googling stuff, you guys. Oh, I did find out, though. There is a mod for The Sims. It's called Fairies vs. Witches mod. And it gives them, like, fairy powers. So we might have to do a stream where we try that out. Also, you guys, I have so many pimple patches on right now. I woke up just covered in pimples. For no good reason. Okay, well. How do we think it's going to show up? As a tattoo, maybe? This says it could be as, as a tattoo. That's like the Edward Cullen skin or whatever. That's not the one we want. I wish I could sort by just custom content on the tattoo screen. I don't think we're going to figure this out, you guys. Maybe it's like... You were supposed to go on a date tonight. Did you not go? Why didn't you go? Did you get nervous? When I was supposed to go on my first date with Jake, I stood him up. Um, well, I had a good reason, though. It wasn't like I just, like, canceled for no reason. Or I, and it's not like I didn't just, I just didn't show up. I told him, like, before it was supposed to start that I wasn't coming because I had other things of importance to take care of. What do you think the odds are of me actually finding this? Be honest with me.
Sorry, you guys. I hope I'm not boring you. Have any of you guys in the chat read Crescent City? Because I'd love to talk about it. I have so many thoughts and so many feelings and so many emotions. Oh my goodness. I would absolutely love to talk about Crescent City with you guys. Okay, I think I'm going to give up on the wings for now. But let's go to... You just woke up. You forgot to set an alarm. Oh my goodness. Did you like tell your date that you weren't coming? Okay, also... Let's do like a second everyday outfit. And we'll give him like jeans. Like just regular ones. <laughs> Not those weird ones. Mm. Not that. Definitely not that. Probably not that either. Um, this could have potential, but not in that watch. No, I'm going to go with no. Let's do jeans and we'll just use this one for now. Maybe like a gray watch and then we'll give him like a t-shirt like a regular t-shirt is that an option <laughs> sims 4 has a lot of things but does it have just a regular plain t-shirt said he said tomorrow is fine oh good i'm glad Ooh, what is that <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's from Realm of Magic. Oh boy. I feel like a black regular t-shirt. Is that too much to ask for from The Sims 4? It might be. Really what I want from The Sims 4 is I want to be able to choose the shirt that my Sim is wearing under the jacket. Now I know I'm asking for a lot with that, but like I want to be able to pick a shirt and then like come up here to jackets and like pick a jacket and then layer. I don't think that I'm asking for too much with that. Oh my gosh, all these shirts are terrible. Making male sims is impossible. I mean... I could maybe do a sweatshirt. Oh, there it is, a black t-shirt. Okay, sick. What is that? Oh, that's from the mermaid pack. Okay, and then, very important, he wears a backwards hat. It's very important to the plot and also just to me in general that we find a backwards hat. I swear there's a backwards hat in this game. There has to be. I mean, there's like baseball hats. Is there not? There's a backwards hat. I know there is. You can't tell me there's not. Oh, that looks not correct. Now his ears are poking out even more. What the heck? 
Oh, there's one. Okay. Oh, that looks ridiculous. Why are his ears like that? Hello? Oh my goodness. This doesn't feel correct to me. He looks silly. That's also not even a backwards hat. <gasps> oh look, there's the bat wings. Why are the bat wings under hats? Wait, are the are the angel wings under hats too? No, they're not. Do these come in white? No. Dang. Is it under piercings? Why does he have elf, elf ears? That's gonna bug me so much. Wait, what was that? Oh, these are elf ears too, okay. Wait. Is it? What is it doing? It's like doing something to his shoulders. Oh, that's a lip ring. Can you guys tell that I don't know what any of this custom content does? <laughs> and I also really cannot tell you how we're going to get rid of the elf ears. It's going to bug me the whole time, though. Not. The wings aren't in here. I really thought that it would be like under accessory. Same with getting rid of the elf ears. I thought that that would be under accessory. But whatever, I guess. <laughs> That's fine. I guess we can just give him like a front facing baseball cap. As long as it doesn't show that his ears are like elf ears any worse than they already are. He wears a sunball hat, which sunball, I can't figure out what sunball is to be honest with you. I don't know if it's baseball i don't know if it's football i don't know if it's basketball i don't know if it's soccer or like some weird combination of all three but that's what he wears <laughs> when he watches the sunball games i feel like maybe this one that one's kind of cute I don't remember what color it is in the books, so I'm just going to pick one for him. That's kind of cute, I think. Oh my gosh, he doesn't have any shoes on. What kind of shoes do we think he wears? Probably just like boots, right? I picture him wearing like black combat boots every day, but I'm, I'm sure at some point he wears like some Converse or something. Is he wearing shoes right now, or does the game think he's barefoot? I This is, like, custom content, so. What's this? Oh, that's what he's wearing right now. Okay. What if the wings are, like, in here as an outfit? That would be annoying for me. But they're not, so don't worry. Okay, formal wear. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be too picky about this because I don't really care what he wears for formal wear. Um, I'm not good at making male sims to begin with. 
Looks great. Um, for active wear, I'm gonna say some joggers. Maybe these. Or, yeah, those are good. Oh, look, a regular t shirt. Perfect. Looks great. Oh my gosh. For sleepwear, I think probably just like some pajama pants would be fine. Oh my gosh, for party wear, imagine if I left him in this outfit. <laughs> What do we think that Hunt Athelar would wear to a party? There's really only like one kind of party scene in the whole book series. Well, a party that's not like a formal event. And I think he wears shorts to it because it's like one of the scenes that was described as being like really hot outside. That's kind of not bad. And then we can get him like a shirt that kind of covers the belt area. That's not good. <laughs> I literally only picture him in like what's described as his battle suit. Uh, what he wears when he goes to work. That's the only thing I ever picture him in. I've never thought about him wearing anything other than that. If so, they didn't put nearly headless Nick's Halloween party in the movie. Same. Like, I understand why they didn't. Because, like, it's not super relevant to the plot. But it's fun. It's, it's kind of like Peeves. Like, I'm upset that they didn't put Peeves in the movies. That looks pretty good. I like it. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Take off the hat. You're showing your weird elf ears, Hunt. Oh! Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Now we're talking. <laughs> now if only I could find... The angel wings. Why is it that my demon wings are working, but my angel wings aren't? I mean, I guess I could give him the demon wings. And just like... Say that they're angel wings. But that's not as fun. I downloaded really cool custom content. And I worked so hard to find it, you guys. I was looking at custom content for hours. Like, many an hour. Oh, that, those are cute on him. For hot weather... I'm gonna put him in some, like, rolled up jeans or whatever. And then... Maybe... What if I put him in, like, a Hawaiian shirt? <laughs> You were so confused when you saw that. What, that Peeves wasn't in the movies? I could put him in this. <laughs> uh -huh. hmm. Oh my gosh, look at how big that watch is. Huh. Can't believe we can't find the wings, you guys. I'm not going to leave it alone. I will find them. After I finish this, I'm going to Google again how to find them. <laughs> because I have no self-control. 
Okay, did we remove his elf ears on all of them? Oh my gosh, we did. That's so exciting. I can't believe it took me that long to remove them, but at least we did it. And again, I'm just going to use these same shoes because I don't know what else to use. What do people wear on their feet? I don't know. Okay, cold weather. Oh my gosh, look at those rings. Okay, for cold weather, I picture... I really... I want a scene of Hunt wearing a Christmas sweater so freaking bad. I wish she could have had more interaction with Fleur, too. Oh, same. Yeah, they just, like, all of a sudden are together. I feel like Hunt would wear something very sensible in the cold weather. Or he would just refuse to dress for the cold and say that he, like, doesn't get cold. I don't know why I, like, only picture him in dark colors. But it's kind of working for me. Maybe something like this. And then we can just give him, like, some boots that match. That's fine. That I'm fine with that. This outfit is really what matters. Although the uh, the angel wings would really change it up for me. They would really do a lot. I'm going to Google again how to use the angel wings. <laughs> We're going to figure it out, you guys. Around. Nothing's going to ever keep you down. You're the best. Around. Nothing's going to ever keep you down. You're the best. Thank you for the bits, Lindsay. You really are the best around. Okay, so. Ooh. <laughs> I think that might be the first time I've heard the applause one used. Did I just try to download new wings? I might do that. You don't know why, but you were expecting Lady Gaga? Oh, that's actually a pretty good idea. Honestly. I might have to add, um, are you talking about like the, the song applause by Lady Gaga? We could probably add that. <laughs> okay. I found... Oh, it's in a different language. It's not going to tell me anything. I'm struggling so much, you guys. I'm also, like, really hungry, so I'm, like, losing stamina pretty fast. <laughs> but it's fine, don't worry. A lot of these wings are saying that they're in the necklace category, but I think that we've looked there like multiple times and they weren't there. Yeah, this is the necklace category. I still can't really figure out what this is. Hello. 
Hello! Marie, thank you for the follow. I downloaded custom content wings for our Hunt Athalar, but I can't figure out how to use them. <laughs> so. I'm good. How are you? I hope you're having a lovely... What is today? Wednesday? I don't know. I never stream on Wednesdays, so I'm not used to it. I keep forgetting what day it is. Okay, I want to see. This is probably not at all going to happen. I want to try to make... Uh, I think it's pronounced Syrinx. Is her pet. He's a Chimera. I don't know if I'm saying that either correctly. Um, I wonder if there's one on the gallery, though, that I could add. <laughs> because it seems like it'd be really hard. He's described as looking like a, a lion. Oh, look, it's a little guy. I kind of just want to play with the pets now. I don't think that I have the skills to try to make syrinx. But these little guys are very cute. Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to get rid of them. <laughs> How's my day going? It's good. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm going to re-save this as part two. <laughs> I'm going to put that on the gallery. And then I'm going to see if I can... I don't know. I really want to make these angel wings work. Where am I from? I'm from the U.S. and like the Midwest area. Okay, you guys, let me see if I can figure this out really quick. Got to get tampons. Oh, I'll have fun with that. Um, okay. Oh, that's a YouTube video audio. Don't mind that. Hello, everybody. I'm trying to watch like a little skip through a little tutorial. What? Wait a minute. Oh. Okay, I think I found a different wings mod that I'm going to try to download really quick. It'll take like two seconds to download. I think it'll be more like fairy wings, not... Um... Oh. Neopet fairy wings, you guys. We're going to have to have a day where we just download custom content together. Because I think that so the custom content for The Sims 4 is so cool. I don't know if you guys have looked any of it up. But it's crazy. Okay, well... I'm going to go ahead and try to build. How long have I been streaming? Um, today, I have been streaming for almost two hours. But in general, I've been streaming. I'm, try I'm loading The Sims right now, you guys. It's supposed to be a black screen. Um, in general, I've been streaming for since like June, I think. June of last year. Here we go.
I'm going to attempt to make Bryce's apartment next, I think. And we'll just see. Let me make sure that my um, angel wings are on here. There's the devil wings. I think that that's um, the demon wings that we are going to use for when we do Akatar. Okay, I don't see the wings actually. Now that I'm looking at it. That could be why. Maybe I just downloaded the wings incorrectly. And that's why they're not showing up. I don't know. Do you mostly play Sims 4? Or do you play any other games? I play a lot of games. Um, I am a variety streamer. So I do kind of just whatever sounds like fun that day. Lately, I've been playing a lot of Pal World. But um, I also... I'll play like Among Us if my friends are playing or I'll do Sorry, I can't apparently can't uh talk and think at the same time. Replace. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Give Sage a treat. Oh my gosh, I have to go get her. She's not in here today. Let me go grab her. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I have returned with the baby. What? Yeah? Right now I have her treats in this like pickle jar. Um, I keep meaning to paint it so it's cute. But I forget. Wait a minute. She's going to go bark because uh, Jake just got home. Come here. <laughs> She's going to go bark some more probably. Um, if you guys hear her barking in the background, my apologies. She is getting so much better on camera. She used to be afraid of the camera. Well, she was afraid of the lights. Super hyped and super anxious about the new survival game, Nightingale. Oh, I don't think I've heard of that one. Oh, you like dogs too? Good. We love dogs on this channel, so you'll fit right in. Okay, I need to turn my game audio back up. I forgot I turned my volume down. 
It's set in the Fey realms. Oh my goodness. Hagen, you know how I feel about fairies. <laughs> Look at what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm gonna do Crescent City and I'll upload it to the gallery again, even though I literally just did. You love the fight? Oh my gosh. If it's Harris at Bless Fight, oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. Okay, so I think. I already built a layout for this earlier because you guys know every time I try to build in The Sims, it takes me like seven hours to decide a floor plan and like 45 minutes to decorate everything. So I already did the hard part. That way we're not here until like 3, 3 a.m. or something. Um, I think I need to get us some more money though. Oh my gosh, that's not working. Good. Okay. Um, can't afford this lot. That's the lot that I need though. So that's really good. How do I make them have more money? I guess I could just like move them into one of these, one of these cheaper apart, one of the cheaper apartments. <laughs> We can't afford any of these apartments. So that's fine. Because I think what I need to do is go to uh, use the mother load sheet, but you can't use it while you're in the middle of moving the household. So I think that this is just what we need to do right now. There we go. Now we've got some cash. Okay. And then we can just go to... I can't I click on move household. Game loading is in progress. Okay. Is game loading out of All right. Is she crying already? Oh wait, I wanted to see if I click on him. Okay, maybe not. I was hoping that the wings would be like a thing from here, but they're not. What if I'm him? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, so can't move household either. That's so good. We're doing great, you guys. Yeah, sure, you can like video games. <laughs> Whatever. How do I leave this lot right now? I can't save. I can't go into build mode. I can't go into... Okay, what if I ex exit to main menu? I don't know what's going on. Resume. Nobody ever said The Sims wasn't buggy. Okay. Okay, we can move now. Let's... Mother load a couple times so we can get money. And now... We will move. I don't know why that took so long for me to figure out, but it's fine. Don't even worry about it. Pagan, I'm definitely gonna have to look up that game. It sounds really cool. I'm real into Faye right now. Ever since I've been reading this book. Book called, uh, Court of Thorns and Roses, and then also followed by Crescent City, which is what we're playing right now. Okay, build mode. Bulldoze. And then I had... 
saved to my library if I can find it. You guys know I probably won't be able to. It was, I literally just made it earlier today. But what are the odds of me being able to find it? View catalog. I kind of remember what it was though, if we have to redo it. But I'd really rather not, you know? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to redo it. <laughs> okay, so Bryce's apartment. You know what? I'm not redoing it. I'm going to get my laptop. It's literally up on my laptop right now. I'll be right back. While well, that boots up, let's see. I had um, a wall. Let me see. The general outline was something like this. But then I made it smaller, I think. I think I made it like this. And then... Um, this was like the hallway. Can't see what I'm doing. Can't place outside boundary of law. Am I doing... Okay. But then I had the like living space kind of like step down. I, I will figure that out later. I'm not worried about that right now. So I think I'm gonna try to use like filler furniture a little bit, like where I want everything to be. I don't know, let's try to pick some floor. This so this apartment, for those of you that haven't for those of you that haven't read this book, this apartment is very like out of most people's budgets. Like definitely out of Bryce's budget. Um it's like super expensive, super high class. Basically, Bryce's best friend left her this apartment when she died and she didn't know that her best friend had this apartment to begin with. Like it was like bought in secret as like a gift for Bryce to keep her safe, pretty much. Gotta go set up and get ready for stream. Oh, thanks for the lurk, Pagan. I hope you have a good stream. We'll come say hi when we're done here. But it's very like modern, I guess you could say. So I think I'm just gonna keep like white walls. For probably most of it. If I can find like a nice clean white color. At least for most of it. We might change it in the bedrooms. But then I'm going to kind of figure out the layout based on how the furniture fits in the space, to be honest with you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick like one of these fireplaces. I feel like probably this one and try to like do that. So she's described as having a very like lush, cozy, poofy, like really comfortable. Imagine those like cloud couches, 
but like as a sectional and we don't have anything like that in the sims trust me i was looking for it earlier we have these like really comfy looking couches but they're not sectionals and in my head it's very much a sectional like that's like the main focus of the apartment is the fact that it's a sectional in my brain at least so i'm gonna make my own i think <laughs> I'm gonna do, oh, let's also turn on move objects. Turn on the move objects, she, uh, if I could. Okay, apparently I can't talk and type at the same time. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's do this first. I'll just slap a couple of these together. And then I know that this, oh wait, <gasps> it does fit together. Wait, that's so exciting. I didn't know it would do that. Oh, that's so good. Oh my goodness. It might be like a little bit too big. Yeah, I think I like that better. I might actually move it back a bit. There we go. And then we can put this centered on that. And then she's got a wooden coffee table. And the wooden coffee table is very important to the plot. Trust me. If you haven't read... The books the only thing you need to understand about this apartment is that it's way out of her budget and the wooden coffee table is important i picture kind of like something like this but i feel like we need another one of these is that too much That kind of feels like too much, right? I don't know. I feel like with the right coffee table, it can maybe work. You said I bet that wooden coffee table is important. It is, Lindsay. It's so important. Yeah, we could put this like this. And then I imagined her having like a massive TV. Like really big i don't know like what's the what's the biggest tv this one is locked oh we could get this one though i'm not gonna be able to tolerate this tall wall height we're gonna have to pull it down to at least a medium <laughs> I can't do the the tall tall wall height is just too much for me. Can't do it. I would maybe even I don't know. This might get too cluttered if I put it over this far. But I kind of it feels right to me. Cuz then it's going to be closer to this wall and there won't be so much empty space over there. You might be saying, well, then just fill the empty space with something. But in my brain, when I pictured this, I have a very specific image in my mind, and I'm refusing to veer from that image, you guys. Okay, so also in my brain, I pictured... You know what? We could probably move this back a little bit. Yeah, and then we can still alt place that. And then maybe we can add another one on this side. I wish that that couch looked more comfortable. I, I really do. The way that I pictured this, though, which this might be wrong. I don't know. I didn't write the book. But I pictured this living room kind of like sunken down 
which is probably incorrect. We could even bring it over a bit because I feel like the front door would also be. But then that would mean that the rest of this needs to like go up on a little bit of a platform. And then we can delete these walls. I don't know. Do you guys see the image, the, the vision there? And then like that would be the front door right here. Let me see if I can find a good front door really quick. I know that also though I'm aware the way that I build in The Sims is very chaotic. Um, I don't do it like correctly. Just trust the process. Realistically, it would probably be something like this, like this super like secure one with like the gate and whatever. Because her apartment does have, like, crazy protection around it. But I don't know how I feel about that one. I kind of just picture, like, a regular door. <laughs> Maybe a wooden door. But I, I really think that I just picture, like, a white door. Regular. Maybe like right there. And then I picture a wall like there. Because then this is gonna go into like, like there's gonna be like a hallway right here that goes to like the bedrooms and stuff back here, you know? We'll get there eventually. I have a vision in my brain. <laughs> I promise I'm not just like willy nilly building stuff over here. I have a vision. I just don't know how to express my vision correctly. I don't know what kind of dining room. I feel like maybe a glass dining room table. But I feel like it should be like long. Is that something that exists? I mean, that's pretty good. I don't know. And then what kind of chairs do we think, though? I feel like... Maybe something like this? How do we feel about that? I feel like we need more light. I don't love that. I feel like they need to be the same shade of what is this. For it to be, like, matchy, you know? But definitely not that. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good, actually. Also, what if we got two of these and kind of like put them next to each other like that? I don't know if I picture the dining area being this grand. I pictured it being like as long as the couch, but I don't know if it's like that's kind of it taking up a lot of space. We'll see how I feel about it. I might change it. And then the kitchen is described as having all white cabinets, which I know exactly which ones I want to use. I want to use these. And there's also a bar and she has like super high tech stainless steel appliances. Um, fancy, fancy one. Oh, okay. So this, it might be too, I think the table's too big. I think that that's my problem. I need to keep the chair though. The table's too big. Let's do a smaller glass table. Oh, this one. I didn't even think about this one.
Maybe we can put like all the way around to kind of make it look longer. I don't know. We'll come back to it. And then give me a corner bit. And then we'll need a corner bit over here too. Yeah, something like that. And her kitchen is like huge. At least it is in my brain. Like I imagine it in a perfect world, if The Sims was exactly like my brain, I would imagine the kitchen going all the way over here and not looking insane and like like the entire apartment is the kitchen. So I'm going to try to not do that. But I honestly, I might just change it later so that the kitchen takes up more space. Because in my brain, the kitchen is like massive and so cool. Okay, and then we need like a bar situation which we could probably even well no just kidding I was gonna say we could maybe push it out further but I forgot we'd need like bar stools there we go put the fridge over here and then she would definitely have, like, the most fancy, expensive, coolest coffee maker in the world. And then isn't there, like, a mug rack somewhere? Oh, we should get a dishwasher, too. And... Fancy microwave, maybe. Um, right there. All right, I'm so indecisive. <laughs> oh, we need a sink still. I guess we put the sink over here. Yeah. And then bar stools. Are we going to be able to b find bar stools that match these chairs, though? That's the question. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Was it this? No. Okay, never mind. I feel like the lighting is never right when you're building, you know? We could also just get white bar stools. I feel like those kind of match the vibe. I don't think I like one being over there. And then the upper cabinets. I kind of just want to do these white ones. I don't know. Does that look weird? They don't match perfectly. But this is kind of more what I pictured up here. How do we feel about this? Who are you people? Hello, Codane. Thank you for the raid. How's it going, everybody? How was your stream, Codane? Hello. Hello. Blackbird. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for the follow. Hello, motherfucker. Hello, hello. How are you guys doing? My special mixtape will get you going. I love this one. What up, baby? Oh my goodness. Red Dragon Strike Force, hello. Dance Syndrome, hello. Oh my gosh, the whole gang is here. Yeah. You know what it is. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, you you finally got affiliate. 
Congratulations. That's so exciting. We're going to have to celebrate. Oh, no. I put a wall here, and now it's going to delete my cabinets. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this... Uh, uh, undo that. That's that's not what I want. I want the wall right here. What were you guys playing on stream, Codain? Congratulations on affiliate. And don't say finally. Getting it after any amount of time is still impressive. Okay. There are so many people that just don't ever get it. Let's do this. I don't know if these cabinets will be like functional, but I don't think I need them to be. <laughs> Skull and Bones. Oh my gosh. I have not played that yet, but I think I want to try it soon. We need like a vent thing. Not this one though. That one's too big. Not this one. This one. I like this one because I can just shove it in there and you don't really ever have to think about it again. You guys, does the kitchen look silly being that big? Or does it look okay? And then a follow-up to that is, should we move this wall to match this wall? Because I don't want to make it... Ma I don't want to pull this wall back because then the kitchen's absolutely going to be massive and huge and weird. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. I'm just going to... I'm just going to move on for now. We'll come back to the kitchen. Um... So what we're doing right now for everybody that's just now joining us is I've been reading this book series called Crescent City by Sarah J. Mass, and I'm trying to build the apartment that I see in my brain in The Sims. And it's pretty difficult because I'm not good at building in The Sims. <laughs> um, I think we're starting to get somewhere, but it's still not looking great. Let's do, no, that's not what I wanted. Let's do this. Actually, we could even do this. Oh, but then that definitely looks weird, right? Move the door over a little. And then move this, maybe? I feel like that's less weird, but then this space is just massive, so we need to make this smaller. Yeah. I think we're getting somewhere. And then this will be two bedrooms, both with like massive ensuite bathrooms. And there's a closet right here that's also important to the plot, much like the table. <laughs> I don't know if anybody in here is a reader, but I am. And once I get really wrapped up in a book like this, I literally can't think about anything else. So <laughs> this is what we're doing. Oh, and then maybe I can make this. Yeah. Okay, let's try this. Something like that. Maybe. How big can I make these bathrooms? Because, like, I these rooms are huge. You know, like, I'm not going to be able to make sense of this space. <laughs> How big can I make the bathrooms before they start looking silly? That's my question. Oh, you do the same? Dan, do you read? What do you like to read? So, I think... This is going to be a really big bathroom. <laughs> Hello! Hello! Stroobs! Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to me struggling in The Sims 4. 
Maybe we do this and then this is like a closet. Yeah, that makes the room make a lot more sense. If we actually build a closet, I never build closets in The Sims because you don't need them. But I think that it makes a lot of sense for us to have closets just to fill up the space because this is a massive space. Like we could do this. I think that makes way more sense. There. I think that that's probably going to be way better. You nearly rage quit The Sims 4. Oh yeah, I almost rage quit earlier because I spent forever downloading custom content because I'm trying to make a character from a book, right? And so I downloaded custom content for that character to make it like very realistic and it's not working. The custom content isn't working and I literally, my brain almost exploded. I had to give up. I'm pretty upset about it. Uh, if anybody can tell me how to make it work, I'd be grateful. <laughs> I downloaded wings, angel wings, and I downloaded two different kinds from two different custom content creators. So I don't know why both of them are not working, but they're not even like showing up in my create a sim. You're into Terry Pratchett novels. Oh, you do writing on the side too. Oh, that's cool. I've never read Terry Pratchett. Uh, what are what are their books about? It might be DLC related. I do have a lot of DLC. That's a fair point. I didn't think about that. I have probably, this is embarrassing. I probably have like five or $600 worth of DLC for this game. Medium, wall height. Do these have like a, a white? Yeah, that's what I need. Just lots of windows. In the book, it's described as having a wall of windows. And honestly, I kind of picture like this whole, this hallway out here is like the communal space for the building. So I don't think I'm gonna spend a lot of time on it, but I picture the whole thing having like windows, honestly. I don't know. Do we think that's too much? I don't think it's too much. This is like the penthouse, like the top floor. So I feel like it, it doesn't need to match the rest. Because like from over here, this looks ridiculous. But does it look less ridiculous if it's all windows? <laughs> I think it's fine. <laughs> Plup, welcome in. There's like, what, 20? Probably, yeah. Um, I have a lot of them. Okay, we're getting somewhere, you guys. I think this is going pretty well, to be honest. Now we just have to do the bedrooms, though. Plup, how are you? How was your stream, Plup? I forget what you were playing. Remind me. How's the simming going? I, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it's not going great. It's not going badly. It's just um very... My DLC was broken, and now I, I, it, it took me like eight tries to build this apartment. <laughs> so I feel like the bed in this room would just be white because this is, it was like a guest room until Hunt moved in. So I feel like the room would be like pretty plain, you know? Maybe we can put like a desk in here though, so that it's not completely empty. Just like a plain, or maybe like a f more fun one. I don't know. You're playing Fliff? Oh, you were playing Darkwood and you beat it? Congratulations on beating it. I never beat games, you guys. <laughs> I almost always give up on games. About halfway through. Let's do this. Maybe there's a balcony. 
Maybe there's a balcony back here. What do we think about that? How do we feel about a balcony? I like the idea. The The book never mentioned a balcony, but it also didn't say that there wasn't a balcony. So I'm going to take some uh, creative liberties there. I think a balcony is a fine idea. I'm going to move this door a bit, though. I think it makes more sense to be over here. You're the same way, really? Well, then it's extra impressive that you beat your game. Um, I feel like a balcony door, an all glass one, like a sliding door, you know? Can this be white? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe they share that like it, both of the rooms lead out onto the same balcony. I think that that's great. I think that's a good idea. And then we can get more of these like absurd windows back here too. Oh, it doesn't match up perfectly. You know what? I can move the door though. We can kind of like alt place it a little. So that it's like that. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Man, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm getting real hungry, though. What did you guys have for dinner? Let me live vicariously through you. I don't know what to do about this side because it's just going to look bad because I don't want to put windows there because of the cabinets. And I don't want to put different windows there when the entire thing is covered in like these absurd windows. I don't know. You had Burger King and you hated it? What was wrong with it? Was it gross? I don't generally like Burger King, honestly. Um, I don't think it's like, I mean, it's fast food, but I feel like it's like exceptionally bad fast food, you know? Okay. Um, back to... How did you hate Burger King? What is wrong with y'all? I mean, okay, so if I'm going to get fast food, um, I'm probably drunk and I probably want Taco Bell. But if I'm specifically craving like chicken nuggets, I'm going to Wendy's. Okay, I think Bryce's room would be very cute and girly and like fun and colorful. Okay, let's try, let me just put some stuff in here. I don't know, let's get, oh, let's put some clothes in this closet space. Can we, do I need to put like a, I don't actually know how closets work in this game because I never use them. Do I need like a shelf, maybe? Is that what the problem is? We could use... That doesn't match though. What about this? Does this match? Yeah, that's fine. I think this is probably... Right there. And this would be lined up with that. And there would be like a big TV in here or something so she can watch TV in bed. I'm basically just designing like my dream room at this point, probably. Um, I mean, not really. I don't really, I'm not too into the pink stuff anymore, but there we go. Maybe bigger actually. Too big, too big, too big, too big. Uh, no. No. I hate that some of these items are, like, locked. Like, you have to play certain careers and stuff to unlock them. That is so annoying. Did y'all frolic today? It's so nice out. I actually have not been outside 
in an embarrassingly long amount of time. Maybe that one. I guess that's fine. <laughs> Whatever. Um, isn't there... There's like a sword in the acting career. I think it's debug, but what if I put that like somewhere as like to be the star sword or uh, Danica sword or whatever. I don't know if any of you guys have read these books, so I don't know if anybody, anybody knows what I'm talking about. But I think that that could be kind of cool. Oh, wait. What if I... No, 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 no. This glass table. No, not the glass one. Actually, there's definitely cuter ones. Ooh. This bedroom is going to end up so pink by accident just because I don't know what else to put in here. <laughs> Where? There's one that I really like that's like round and it's got like half marble, half white. Where is that? I think I'm just not seeing it. I mean, whatever, we can use this one. But I don't understand why I can't find that one. I swear, sometimes when I play The Sims, everything goes exactly according to plan. And sometimes nothing is correct at all. And it's just, it's so much. <laughs> Put this here. Maybe this goes right here. Yeah, I like that better there. There's a bee farm near you? So many bee boxes. Oh my gosh. Um, What else can I put in here? I mean, I could put another desk in here, but I literally just did that same thing to fill up space in this one. So that feels kind of like I'm cheating or something. I got to figure out how to... Ooh. On shelf. Does this come in white? Yeah, okay. Let's put this shelf somewhere. But where? Right there. Probably. And then... We could get this, like, pink purse hook thing. And put it by the front door. Because it was just Bryce living here alone at the beginning of the book. So, you would expect a lot of girly stuff. Or at least I would. I wonder... Do I need a shelf to use, like, the the clothes, or do they just, like... I've never used them. Let's try this. And then if I go... Like, th right here. No, they're not even, like, showing up anywhere. Do I have... Custom content that's not letting them function properly. Well, we could put... <laughs> Why is this not working? Don't victory screech just yet, because I don't think that this is going to be a victory. I don't think I'm going to figure this out. Or it might be like a tomorrow thing that we figure out tomorrow. But if I do that on the phones, please do. Please do it. 
I beg you. Just answer a work phone call with a victory screech. Oh, we could put like a cute mirror in here. Or like a vanity, maybe. Or both. Not this one, though. That one's too, like, short, I think. Oh, does this come in, like, a pretty color? That's kind of cute. I do like that. Oh, and curtains. We need some curtains with all these windows. What kind of curtains, though? What kind? What color? We probably do want something like that, but... Maybe... Maybe like this? Yeah, that's cute, I think. And there's definitely curtains out here, too, because they're mentioned kind of in the books. But what color? Gray, maybe? I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do... Oh, gosh. Are these different colors? Hold on. Oh, no. They are different colors. Well, okay, we could do this, though. That way they're not just all white. Oh, my gosh, it's uneven, though. That's fine. One of them is just slightly more pulled out than the other. It's fine. I like it that way. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, We probably could do some windows in the kitchen, maybe. Like, little ones. Or does it look silly if we do? If you can see. I mean, it doesn't really matter what the outside looks like. Honestly, who cares what the outside looks like? Not me. I'm not playing outside. I'm playing inside. I think it's fine. Well, that's pretty good, though. That's pretty good right there. What if we do this and then like like something like this? Does that look silly? Oh, you lost your bowl. I'm sorry. That's the worst. Let's do a food bowl. White and pink, of course. Oh, wait, we don't want the automatic feeder one because it's like a thing every day to feed the syrinx. Syrinx? I don't know how to say his name. Let's do two matchy ones. Like one for food and one for water, you know? And then maybe we can get, oh, we definitely want one of those like ridiculously expensive trash cans, right? How do we feel about this? I feel like this is a lot of space over here that we don't necessarily need. I could make the whole thing, like, one tile smaller, probably. Or do we like it the way it is? I kind of think... It being one tile smaller might be a good thing, though. I don't know, though. That looks kind of silly now.
No, I liked it better before. That was a mistake. <laughs> I feel like we need like a plant in here. Like a nice plant. A big plant, maybe. Yeah, and then... Um, a small plant as well. Oh, a big plant in Bryce's room. With a white pot. And then a small little dangly, dangly guy. Like right, right here somewhere. And a hanging friend in this corner, perhaps. Facing that way. And I feel like she'd be real into these hanging plants, so there'd probably be another one somewhere in here. I don't know. I didn't write the book. I just read it. Ooh, this thing is cute. Mm, probably at an angle, right? Yeah. Ooh, what's this? No, not that, not that. We don't need that. Ooh, let's use this thing. Now I'm just using this as an excuse to use all the all of the stuff that I like never use. <laughs> all the decorative stuff. I don't think it ever said anywhere that Bryce is like really into plants. I think that that's just a thing that I put in my brain. For like funsies. Oh, we should definitely put like a caged cow plant on her dresser. Um, absolutely. And then... Uh, I guess we don't really need this, I think. Bryce is a plant name. You know what? You're right. I bet Bryce is real into plants because her name is Bryce. Put some, like, clutter places. Like, she's definitely not this clean. Well, actually, the, the apartment is described as being, like, very clean. But you still gotta have some clutter, you know? Like a jewelry thingy or something. I think this is starting to look pretty nice. What is this? Bird jail? What? Oh, a cookie jar? We should put this in the kitchen. Like, by the coffee maker. And then also, we should get some kitchen stuff, too. We don't really have a lot in here right now. As much as I do like decorating, like, all the clutter and stuff, it's just kind of a lot sometimes, you know? What is this? Heavy duty shelf. Ooh. Let's try kitchen clutter. Oh, yeah, like a dish rack. And maybe a bread box, just for the fact that I don't know what else to put in here. Oh, one of these hanging pan things, maybe? Oh, but where are we going to hang it? Will it fit here? Oh, it fits pretty good, I think. Oh, but it should go... 
Not there, though. I guess that's fine. I don't really care that much. It'll be okay. Having a mortar and pestle is very on brand for Bryce. So I'm going to grab one of those. We could just put these uh, clothing racks in the closets because I can't figure out how closets work. I think that's fine. <laughs> It'll be all right. What about a Christmas tree? I'm not going to put a Christmas tree, don't worry. But what if I did? Oh, yeah, this like mug rack thing. That's what I was looking for earlier to put in this corner by the coffee maker. There we go. There's some like fairy lights that I'd also like to find that I think would be pretty cute. I don't know. We'll see what we we'll see what we come across. Oh, we should probably put a smoke alarm and a thermostat just so that this is like playable. What is this? A yoga mat? Interesting. Maybe Bryce does yoga. It's never mentioned in the books, but it's also not mentioned in the books. Honestly, I think a yoga mat might be involved at some point because there is a gym scene. A Paramount Cauldron. Oh, that is huge. Okay. Never mind. I feel like one of these globe bars makes a lot of sense in here, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it. Door no more home fabricator. What? Not gonna question it. Maybe a bar? Where though? No, no bar. No bar. Silly idea. What about some rugs? Our rug choices are not great. Uh, to be honest with y'all. I should have got some like custom content rugs. But that's not a thing I did. What if I make this bigger? No, don't like it. What if I made this bigger? Now we're talking. Yeah? Or is that too big? What if you made me a rug? Like turned me into a rug? Would I be a sentient rug? I think this rug out here. Yeah. Slightly off center, perhaps. Like that. That's pretty good. Oh, we need some little like these kind of rugs. Um. I guess we could do white ones like in front of the sink and whatnot. You love watching rug making videos? I don't think I've ever seen one. Is that where they use that like gun thing? And it's like, you know what? I, you know what I'm talking about? Is that what that is? Ooh. An eight-pointed star rug. That's weirdly relevant to the plot. Um, but no, we won't use that. What about some art? Do 
Do we think that Bryce is a neon sign kind of girl? I think that'd be fun. Oh, we could add this as well. And then maybe like some more photos over here. And then isn't there, there's like a, a tapestry. Ooh, that's pretty good too. Ooh, that's really good. Okay, sorry. Oh, even better, even better. And look, it lines up pretty good too. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to center this better. And then I think that this comes in a different swatch, doesn't it? Some that will be matchy, hopefully. There we go. Okay, so then let's move. So it's centered. There we go. I think that's cute. We could still use that tapestry thing over here, though. Something over there. We need something. That wall is too large. You finished Outlander? Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Was it good? Like the ending? I hate when I finish a show and the ending is terrible. <laughs> it's so annoying. The clothing hook? Oh, it's just like a... Ooh, what are you? Fun. Do you come in like a long, a long version? I don't think you do. I, ho I was hoping I could put this like on top of the curtains, but apparently not. Oh, we could put a diploma in here. Bryce has probably at least one of those. Ooh. Oh, this is cute. But where to put it? I mean, we could put the... Can I size this up? How do we feel about that? I think that's pretty good. Honestly. I think that's fine. They left on a big cliffhanger? Why? I hate it when shows do that. Be on the flip side wall. That's not... Uh... Is this like a bulletin board? A mood board. Hmm. We should get like a a dresser for in here or something. You're soloing a dungeon right now and you're so stressed. Oh my goodness, that sounds not uh what's it called? Fliff? What is that game about? I think you've told me before, but I don't think I quite grasped the concept as much as I needed to. Oh, this is like can I just stick this closet like in this closet? Is that is that a silly thing to do? Is this cheating? <laughs> Did I just cheat a closet? Does that make it functional? Wait a minute. What does this thing do? Whatever. I know I've used these clothing things before. I have no idea what I hung them on. Not a clue. Like, I don't know how I use them. They might also be broken because I downloaded custom content, though. That's kind of the downside to using custom content. Grab. Use the shelf option. The shelf option. Um, what do you mean the shelf option? What 
is this? Can I use this? And can I just shove this in here? Is this? <laughs> uh, I won't. Don't worry. Oh, we do need to get a very large. Oh my gosh! And it's like pink rainbow. That's perfect. Put this like that, I guess. It looks like a horizontal board. You had it when you first showed the different types of furniture. I think I'm blind. A horizontal. What if I just search shelf? Will that work? Is it this thing? I thought that that's what I used. Yeah, that's what I put in here. That didn't work for me. I very well could have broken it though with all of my all of my CC downloading. You put this little like cart somewhere maybe. The black one? This thing? That thing didn't work for me. I don't know why. But look, when I like, so I'll click on the clothes, I'll pick one. But then it doesn't let me place it. Maybe, is there something wrong with this closet? Like if I put this here, Will it then let me place it? No. Okay, I can't place it anywhere. It's broken. <laughs> what you're telling me is it's broken. Um, I'll just put in the the shelves. And then eventually when it's less broken, I'll put clothes in there. If that day ever comes when it is less broken. We'll have to wait and see for that one. Um, oh my gosh, they're all so uneven. What have I done? Stop. Oh my gosh, they're not going. Something's wrong. This is not me. I, it's not my fault. It's definitely a glitch in the game. This time, at least, I am not the idiot, okay? Oh my gosh, that's gonna annoy me so much. Okay. All right, all right, all right, cool. Whatever. Can I place clothes now? Nope. Sure can't. That's fine. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. So not worried. What's this? Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is the, uh, this is the, no, it's not the one I was looking for. Dang it. I was looking for the one where it's like, some random poster or something, but then when you go to the swatches, there's one of those like tapestry, like with the ma mandala on it. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know. Maybe I just imagined its existence. That feels unlikely though. <laughs> Making Hunt's room is kind of hard. Cause like, I don't know. Really, what to put in here? I don't think that he'd have a TV. Maybe some like side tables next to the bed, but that's kind of like whatever. Do like something like this? I guess those are not even at all. Stop. Okay. I mean, yeah. That's pretty much how I pictured it, I guess. 
Okay, now for the bathrooms. I do think I'm going to give them tile. I said I was going to use the wood for the whole thing, but I think I'm going to add the tile in here. Like a white marble tile. I put it in the kitchen as well. Or do we? I, I think I like the wood in the kitchen, actually. I don't think I want to change that. Let's do... Okay, so... I picture... Big, fancy bathtub and, like, a standing-up shower in Bryce's bathroom. But then in Hunt's, I picture one of those showers that you can, like, fully walk into. Like, it's like a small room, you know? You know what I'm talking about? And we have one of these... These things. What we could maybe do... Is like put a wall in here. Like that. And then we could even put different tile to mark like where the where the shower begins. I kind of think, hold on, I've changed my mind. I think I want the tile to be over here. And then we'll put a wall like this. We'll grab this thing. And then we'll do these white counters over here. And then a sink like built into that. Um, just like a regular one. Ooh. Beveled sink. That's new. Um, and then a toilet over. We'll get the expensive one because why not? The toilet can be there. That's pretty big. Pretty big bathroom. I did picture the bathroom rather large though, so I think that that's uh, correct. Let's get a towel. Uh, ooh, let's get toilet paper. Right there. We'll grab this. Some soap. A. Ooh. Some like soap and stuff. We'll put this like right here. I wonder if maybe we can put two next to each other. Like that. That's pretty good. And then we can put like a robe over on this wall. We can do extra toilet paper on the toilet, make it a little bit more lifelike. A comb, because that's probably the only thing that Hunt uses in the bathroom. And these like nice pretty towels. Actually, no, oh, those ones just look dirty. I wanted them to have that white towel rack without being just completely 
Well, I guess we can use the black ones. That's fine. Do that. And then maybe there's another towel rack over here so that it's closer to when you get out of the shower. And we can add... Some rugs and whatnots. There we go. And how about... In this corner, we can put a litter box in here. Um, she doesn't really have a cat, but she has a chimera, which is in my brain basically a uh, weird dog cat thing. And I don't know what else to put here, so I'm just going to put a litter box there because it looks a little empty in that corner. <laughs> oh, and then we need a mirror in here, too. I always use the same mirror when I build bathrooms because there's these, but they look too small. Like, that looks so silly on that wall. And, like, all of them feel that way to me. Like, this one's so low, you know? And so I always get these really big ones. Oh, not that. Don't do that. And I raise them. Like that. And then you can kind of like alt place them on top of each other so that they blend like this. You killed the dungeon boys? Congratulations. Okay, and then for this bathroom, I picture Bryce having like a massive bathtub. We don't really have massive bathtubs. Um, I could, if I really, really wanted to build what's in my brain, I could build like a tiny pool in the bathroom. I'm not going to go through all that trouble though. Uh, I'm just going to put like a bathtub in here. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. We could put one of these ridiculous, like, jacuzzi luxury bath things. Or these corner ones. Actually, the corner one's not bad. I thought it would be uglier than it is. I think I'll use that. I think the corner one is actually just fine. And then I'm going to use the same counters in here, I think. And then put this little little sink guy in here. I feel like Bryce, though, would have so much clutter on her bathroom counter. Like, it would be a mess in here. We can put some, like, candles somewhere, maybe. Oh, a blow dryer for sure. We can put this little basket, like, I don't know, somewhere. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. Let's do some soap. And just, like, a couple of random little things just like out you know just like she like left them laying out or something uh toothbrush i'm gonna put there move this over move this over there we go looks great and then i'm gonna use the same mirror in here i think Yeah, I think that that's good. Guess what? Chicken butt. It's always chicken butt. Okay, yeah. And then um we'll put like a stand up shower in the corner over here maybe
And then on this side, we'll put the toilet. Like, I'll place it between tiles just because I don't love either one. And then let's get those little bath mat things in here too. I kind of want to use this one instead. No, that feels pretty cute. Oh, that's huge. Has that one always been that big? I swear, I've been like sizing this up for years. <laughs> okay, let's do... um. The white one. Yes. None of the other ones really f speak to me. We'll do the white one of this as well and put it right there. And right there. There's a whole lot of rugs in here. Don't worry about it. It's fine. We like rugs. Okay, how do we feel about that? I think that that's pretty dang good, honestly. Let's get a towel rack in here and call it a day. <laughs> oh, are you guys the kind of Sims players that add light switches or do you just not? I used to. I used to add light switches all the time. Now I do not. I never add light switches anymore. Like absolutely never will you catch me adding a light switch. Maybe she has like a, a cute little pink robe over here. I think this is looking pretty good, you guys. Look at that. Oh, we got to put an elevator in. I think, what did we decide on? Medium wall height? That one, that one's tall wall height. So is that one. That one's small. Oh no. You know what? I, it's fine. It's so fine. <laughs> it totally does not have to be perfect. Oh, good, 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 good. I think we're getting somewhere. We can add an outdoor space over here. There is light switches, yes. Can someone shove an ice pack in your ear? Um, no, I would prefer to not participate in that personally. What if I just do, can I do like a half wall here? Is that a thing I can do? Yeah, 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 look. Half wall, half wall. Maybe slightly more than half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. And then we can put like grass up here or something. Maybe. Is there a flooring that looks like grass? There's got to be. Oh, there so is. It's a little bit too perfect though, don't you think? Oh, we need some like brick or something on this half wall to make it look uh normaler. Normaler. That's that's a word probably. Um I would love for the brick to match this down here. I don't think that that's going to happen. <laughs> 
Not even for a second do I think that I'm going to be able to figure that out. Oh, that's pretty close. It's not, like, correct, but... Wait, is there one that comes with city living? Because you would think that the one that comes with city living would be correct, right? Because this is the city living lot. I'm just going to use this. I don't want to... I don't want to look for brick forever. I'm also going to use this, like, all the way across on the outside. Because I don't want to put any more effort into the outside of this, to be completely honest with you. Honestly, we could even do it in this this area right here. And then outside we can put... Let's see... Let's do, we need an apartment mailbox. Not 100% sure how to get one of those. But we could put like a little bird bath or something out here though. That could be cute. I don't know, what do people put outside of their houses? Oh, we're definitely going to need a gnome though, right? That's, like, a must. What about some, like, seating? That seems like a thing that people have. We could get some, like, lounge chairs. Or a picnic table, maybe? No. I think lounge chairs, for sure. Two of them. And we'll get, ooh. Maybe like, I don't know, some kind of toy box or something for the little creature. Put some of these lights out here. And we'll put a couple more, like, in these corners, because I feel like this area is pretty big for only two lights. I mean, this doesn't have to be, like, full back here. This wasn't even, like, mentioned in the books. Crystal, what day of antibiotics are you on? Oh, we could do something like this. Pretend that that's not flipping so much. It'll be fine. If you don't look at it too hard, it's fine. Oh no, it looks weird in the middle now. Oh, what if I do this? And then another one in the same... Yeah... It's not great, but it it could be could be worse, I guess. I think this is fine. I think I think I want to be done. What do you guys think? Does this feel complete to you or are we missing anything? I know you guys haven't read the books, but like how do we feel? This is pretty much exactly what I pictured in my brain. I, I'm pretty proud of myself. It's sometimes very difficult to recreate things in The Sims that you see in like real life or like in a book or a movie or something because the proportions of The Sims are not like real life, you know? Um, It's completely just disproportional in every way. <laughs> You think it's missing rugs? I do agree that we could use some rugs in the room. I don't want to put one... So we could put one here, but then that's very close to these items, which then makes me want to move these items, but I don't know where else to put them. I guess I could put this yoga mat out here. I don't know. We could try for a rug. 
I didn't put one in Hunt's room specifically because his he was always described as like bare bones, like not putting anything in his room that like builds character, you know? But I mean, I could put a rug in here. How do we feel about that? Oh, that's really pretty. That's actually quite like that. So what if we put this bed over here? It's kind of blocking the door, but I don't think I care. Do we care about that? Or we can move this, put the bed over here. And we could put this like nowhere, I guess. We don't really need this. We put this in Hunt's room and pretend it was there when he moved in. No, it looks silly. It looks silly. I won't do it. You must go to bed. I hope you have a good night. A very good moon. Probably gonna end the stream pretty soon. And then probably raid Pagan here in a minute. What if we put like this in here? This sized up? How do we feel about that? How does that make us feel? I'm actually quite happy with that. That's pretty good, I think. Outside, we could maybe put like a picnic table. Like some, ooh, pretty chair. I feel like we need to have that chair, sorry. Get like, this one's quite cute. Put it like right here between their two rooms. I think that's quite nice to be honest. Oh, we could get some like planter boxes out here too since we decided that Bryce likes plants. The yoga can get moved a little bit over there. I think that's quite nice. I'm quite happy with this. I think it looks great. This is actually way better than I expected it to be. I'm pretty proud of this, guys. Okay, I'm going to save it. Oh, wait, we need to add an apartment mailbox. which we can just put like out here. And then we also need the apartment trash chute. I almost forgot. This we can just put next to the elevator, I guess. There we go. This is a two bed, two bathroom penthouse apartment. And our lot types, natural light and great soil. You know what? That's fine. What should we call this? I'm just going to call it Bryce's apartment. Let's save this lot. I'm going to say... Bryce's apartment from Crescent City. Did I add my my Twitch? I'm going to do it. You guys don't make fun of me. Okay. Share to the gallery. And we're going to save. And you guys, I think I'm done. That was a journey. Honestly, I was expecting 
this to take me quite a bit longer than it did. And I, I know that that's silly to say because I've been here for three and a half hours doing this, but I was honestly expecting to be online until like midnight trying to do this because I just thought for sure that it was going to take me so long. I think that the thing that saved me was I pre-planned the layout a little bit. Like I was playing The Sims at work earlier, uh, trying to figure out how I was going to do this. And I figured out exactly how I wanted the layout to be. Okay, I'm going to set y'all up with a raid to Haunted Pagan. Did that work? It did. Okay, sick. Um, send Pagan my love. Also, I hope you guys all have a great night. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you, Red Dragon Strike Force. <laughs> um, I know a lot of you guys that stuck around and watched from the raids. The Sims is probably not your thing, and you definitely probably don't know anything about Crescent City. So thank you guys for hanging out anyway. It means a lot to me. Um, I'll talk to you guys on the Discord later, but I'll also be in Pagan's chat uh, hanging out for a while if you guys want to hang out over there. Um, yeah, send Pagan my love and also my raid emote, and have a good night. Good moon.